Hi everyone, welcome to Greekish Outdoors. Today we are going to be looking at zombie pellets. So, stick around. So these are zombie tracker pellets from Gamo. As it's Halloween coming up, I bought these online for about 14 euros. I've seen them online in the US for about $15. They are a 4.5 millimeter or 0.177 hybrid pellet which means it is a lead diablo style hollow point with a diamond shaped polymer tip these pellets weigh 0.51 grams or 7.8 grains have some cool zombie artwork on the front each tin you purchase contains 125 pellets so these are meant to glow in the dark i will be leaving these out in the sun for most of the day to give them the best chance of uh, glowing in the dark and we will test their ability to be a tracker later on this evening now because these pellets have that polymer tip they are not suitable for many rotary air gun magazines they are just simply a little bit too long unlike the predator polymags where they make a short version they do not in these as of yet. So today I will be testing these out with my Colt Single Action Army Revolver. And as a comparison, I'll be using some Gamo Match Pellets. These have a very similar weight. They are 0.49 grams or 7.56 grains. So it'll be a nice test of accuracy against the tracers. Right. Let's get the gun loaded with gas and with pellets and give this a try. First six shots of the gamma match from 10 meters away. Next, the gamma zombie tracker from 10 meters away. So first the gamo match, three headshots, two in the circle but missed the actual person and one outside the circle at the top. Now the gamo zombie tracker, we have one, two, three body shots, one headshot and two misses but within the circle. It is a pretty windy day today so being a lighter 0.177 pellet they are liable to movement in the wind but not so bad especially from the old Colt single action army when we look at the pellet deformity you see the one on the left hand side is the match pretty well deformed the one on the right is the zombie tracker again very well deformed with the polymer tip detached but both of them have deformed well so that was against a paper target. What about a real target? Uh, brains! Uh, brains! Well, you saw that the rounds hit him. Slight bit of damage on the brow. But I can't see any that penetrated this zombie head. But we need to check if they glow in the dark. So I'm going to bring you back later on when the sun goes down and we'll check that out. See you in a bit. Right, it's almost pitch black outside now. I'm just sitting by the fire and I'm priming these zombie tracker pellets. I'm using a thousand lumen light to prime these hopefully by giving them some super intense light from this thousand lumen light it will keep them glow in the dark for longer but if I now turn this lamp off you can see that already they are glowing in the dark all there is to do now is to fire them at the target and see if they do actually leave a trace like a proper trace around So 
So that was a bit of a fail. Yes, they do glow in the dark, but they are not like a trace around. You cannot see them fly through the air. I had them under the thousand lumen lamp for about 15 minutes. They were out all the day before that in the sunshine. As I was firing them out of an air pistol and not an air rifle, they would have been going slower and therefore there was more chance of you seeing the actual tip of the pellet go through the air, but no. As you saw, I tried with some light and with the minimal light and you couldn't see either way. But overall, the pellets are fine. Yes, they're a bit of a gimmick. It's zombie, you get a bit of cool artwork. The pellets do glow in the dark. They're, you know, okay accuracy wise. They do deform pretty well, so they'll cause a good amount of damage. But for the price, are they worth it? Well, they're okay. But there are alternatives out there, such as the Predator Polymags, which do come in a short version, and that enables those to go into those rotary magazines, and therefore you can use them in many other types of air gun. But anyway, yeah, not bad, a bit of fun. It's getting close to Halloween, so I wanted something along the themes of that. What do you think of these pellets? Is it something you would buy? Would you recommend these to anybody else? Do let me know in the comment section below. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care, much love. See you next time.